Hello and welcome to another PC printing tutorial. Um, our last, well, my last video uh, was on Ventrilo servers and how to set one up on your home Mac. Uh, but then I got to thinking, well, what if people don't quite know what Ventrilo is? Well, so I figured, here we go. Uh, go ahead and delete that. That was a failed experiment. Um, Ventrilo is a simple program that, uh, the best way to describe it, as I described it in the last video, is IRC with voice chat. And, uh, let's go ahead and connect. Blades of Obsidian, just for the record, is my guild in World of Warcraft, so let's just go ahead and connect there. I am sort of in charge of, uh, the vent server for our guild. So, here are the different things you can do. You can enable push to talk. Mine is the uh, til, tilde, however you pronounce it, or grave key, uh, but it can be any key. Uh, you can change the various codecs. Mac only supports speaks and the various formats. Um, Mac only supports that as the highest. Obviously change your sound input and output devices. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to uh, modify sound effects. Now, I believe that I just crashed. Well, that's not that's that's very unfortunate. Um, don't click sound effects if you're on a Mac. Good to know, right? There we go. I apologize for any background noise. I believe there's a television going on back there somewhere. Um, so here we go. Back to where we were. Uh, you can change the different audio files that play when something happens. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, a lot of this stuff is very foreign to me because I don't fully understand how uh, voice software works in its entirety, but um, it, it looks like you can go pretty deep into how you can skew with your voice here. Um, delay in seconds before reconnect. This is reconnection stuff. If you quit, that's what happens. Um, this, it even lets you change the number of packets to buffer. I mean, that's, that's some serious customization here. Uh, different things you can do here. Silent blank comments, uh, sound connections, one in the channel, uh, display info of new version available, and then you can tweak it for a wireless headset. I think that probably reduces lag. Uh, you can also do uh, actual text chat, which uh, is pretty entertaining. Um, see if I can't tell my friend Kags here to... Uh, Maybe not, but um, regardless, uh, th those are just some of the things you can do. Um, now, if you happen to be lucky enough to have your own, or, or you don't even have to be lucky, if you happen to know how to host your own vent server, which I've shown, uh, you can become your own server admin. Sorry, that noise means that I'm talking, but it's uh, also part of the password. Yeah, that, that's a very long password. And um, so now I can add channels. Even added phonetic names. You can edit the comments or the channel password, allow recording or all kinds of different things, um, open to public or not. Uh, speaking of which, let me go ahead. No, I'll wait until I'm done with the video. I need to uh, just remind myself I need to make an officer's chat, um, but that's beside the point.
can even edit comments for your names. And uh, you can move people around. For example, you can jump him back and forth. And uh, you can kick, you can ban, you can mute. You can even edit the message of the day. You can even edit some of the users. You can edit guest. You can edit the channel admin. All kinds of different stuff. It's so much customization in this program. It's really a great, great uh, multi-user voice chat program, and I highly recommend it. I think it's much better than anything like TeamSpeak or anything along those lines. I really, really do like Ventrilo. Um, so there you have it. Uh, I hope that these, you know, these couple tutorials on Ventrilo have been helpful to somebody out there, and um, maybe now you don't have to. Uh, go out and pay for that vent server that your guild really needs but can't afford. So uh, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, woo.